Let's get started. All right, good morning, everybody. Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. My Good All right, let's start our class for today. Today and tomorrow will be review on what we learned the last three weeks. A lot of information. And then uh, we will have a new unit starting on Monday. So let's enjoy these last two days talking about environments and habitats. First, uh, let's share our homework. Okay, I got homework from George, Blue Moon, Sino, Milk, Taylor, Sam, Moon. All right, so let's have a look at this. And George, do you want to share first? Go ahead and tell us uh, about the three things you wrote based on your presentation this week. I like to paint the bottle. I spoke loud. I want to improve at spoken. Very good. So you liked painting, you spoke loud. The last sentence should say, I want to improve at speaking. Can you say speaking? Speaking. Very good. Excellent work, George. And you are very right. You did a very good job. You spoke very loud. It was great. All right, Blue Moon, you're up next. Go ahead, Blue Moon. I, one thing I like about making my terrarium is making homework for making home for my fish. Very good. That good idea when I present to make my teacher happy. Very nice. I was very happy. I want to make a longer presentation with more information. Good. Excellent job. Very nice. So you need the letter A right here. Three is making A home for my fish. Very nice. And that last word there, Blue Moon, can you say information? Information. Excellent work. These are very good, Blue Moon. I'm glad that you had fun making a home for your fish. I wish we could have longer presentations too. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Sino, can you read yours? I have fun to make a terrarium. It was fun to play with the camera. I have a photo of it in a new terrarium. Oh, so you did you make a new one? Yes. Oh, very interesting. If you send the photo, if you send the photo to your TA, I can show it at the beginning of class. Okay. Cool. Well, very nice, Sino. You know, a couple of grammar errors, okay? I had fun making a terrarium. It was fun to share to the camera. And I have, so make sure you double check your grammar, okay? Very good, thank you for doing your homework. Milk, can you read yours for us, Milk? It was so fun. I spoke very well. I want to be bet better at speaking clearly. Excellent work, Milk. All of the grammars, very good. Very nice job on your homework today. I'm glad that you had fun. All right, 
Taylor, go ahead. I like planting plants. I look at the camera. I want to speak clearly. Very nice. Excellent work. So the only thing is past tense, right? I looked at the camera. Very nice, Taylor. Homework, and I'm glad that you had fun building your terrarium. Sam, go ahead, Sam. One, catch a snail. Two, speak loud and clear. Three, I need to look at the camera. Very good. So remember though, this is very nice. I'm glad you had fun catching your snails. Make sure next time you write in a full sentence. So I liked to catch a snail. Very nice, Sam. And you're right, you did speak very loud and clear. Great job. All right, Moon. Go ahead, Moon. What did you write? Oh, here we go. Go ahead, Moon. I make the pen very well. I want to look at the camera finish. Very good. You want to look at the camera. I make the plant. I made. Past tense, guys, remember? I like it because it's so exciting. Very nice. Thank you, Moon. All right, and then we already did Taylor's. Very good work. Raise your hand in your video if you also did your homework. You just didn't turn it in. Funny? Oh, I'm sorry, Funny. That's right, you sent it in. Funny, could you read what you wrote for us? I like the terrarium because it is an ocean habitat. We can catch a crab for a dinner. I need to speak better. I have good prepare. Very nice. So this is all very, very good. The only one is the last one. The words are just in the wrong order. That's okay though. So it's I prepared well. Very nice. Great job, Funny. Thank you for doing your homework. Banana, you did your homework, is that right? No. Could you read your homework to us, Banana? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't see you raise your hand earlier. I look at the camera and I speak clearly. I want a better result. I want a better camera. Mm. Very good. Excellent work. Those are some very good things to want to improve. Thank you, Banana. Okay, so now, hi Nam. I have your, a picture of your terrarium right here. So let me bring up your name here. Hi Nan, can you just quickly tell us in one or two minutes what you made in your terrarium? This is beautiful. Wow, Hi Nan, this is a beautiful terrarium. Go ahead and tell us. My name is Hi Nan. This is my jungle. My jungle. I'm elephant. Dinosaur. Wow. I a monkey and rock. Very good. Oh my gosh, your, your drawing of the monkey is amazing. What other animals do you have in here, Hainam? Elephant. Elephant? Wow. Tiger. Very good. Dinosaur. What are the living things in your terrarium? Living in nature, we are animals. Mm -hmm. Black dinosaur, monkey, tiger, elephant. And what are the non-living? Well, non-living is a mountain, a rock, and water. Excellent job, Hainan. This is wonderful. 
Very, very pretty. What did you draw on the ground? What's on the forest floor? The tree. The trees, the roots. Very cool. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Does anyone, before we go on, does anyone have a question or something they want to say about Hainam's terrarium? Pasta? Where is the monkey? Where is the monkey? The Do monkey is a mountain. You know, like apple tree. Mmm, on the apple tree. I see it right here. It's a drawing. See it, Pasta? Yeah. Nice. Excellent. All right. Very, very good job, Hainam. It looks beautiful. Or Pasta, you did your um, write three things homework? Very good, Pasta. Could you read them quickly? I look at the camera. Make a good tutorial. Speak loudly and clearly. Very nice, Pasta. Thank you for doing it. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, everybody who did their homework. That makes me very, very happy. And I'm really glad you all had fun working on your terrariums because I know I had fun watching them and learning about them. Okay, let's go back to our PowerPoint. So a habitat is the place where an animal or plant lives. The example is the giraffe lives in the grassland. Now let's review the definition for environment. Environment. Let's see, Sino. Actually, let's have Dragon. We haven't heard from Dragon yet. Dragon, can you read the definition for environment? Very nice, Dragon. Thank you. So, the habitat is the place where they live. The environment is what is in that place. Here's the example. Uh, Zook, can you read the example of an environment? Uh, so, grass, sun, animals, and rain. Very nice. So, that's the environment for the grasslands. That is the environment for the grasslands. So, the habitat for the giraffe is the grasslands. The environment of the grasslands is the grass, sun, animals, and rain. So what is the habitat of the Arctic fox? Let's see. Puppy, what is the habitat of the Arctic fox? Tundra. The tundra. Excellent job, puppy. And Ray, what is the environment of the tundra like? Um, well, it is very cold. Very nice. It's very cold. Excellent. So the habitat of the Arctic fox is the tundra, and the environment of the tundra is cold, not a lot of plants. Great work. Okay. Rosie, could you please read about the grassland? Grass, grassland, a large open place with a lot of flesh. Very nice. Great job. All right. How about forests? Let's have Sophia. Can you read about the forest, Sophia? Forest, a place where there are many two trees. Very good, Sophia. Excellent work. All right, and the next one, how about 
Susu, Susu, can you read this for us, please? Lake, a body of water that has land all around it. Very nice, Susu. So lakes have water all around it. Susu, are lakes fresh water or salt water? Fresh water. Very nice. Lakes and rivers, they're fresh water. Here's a nice picture of a big lake. See, there's land all the way around it. How about this one? Let's read about the ocean. How about tiger? Tiger, could you read about the ocean for us? Yes, an ocean environment is not bodies of salt water. The top later is home to many living things here. Plants and other living things get the sunlight they need. Animals can find food. Very good. Tiger, why do plants live in the top layer? Why don't they live in the bottom layer? Because, because the top need to get sunlight. Very good. They need sunlight. Great work, Tiger. How about Tom? Tom, could you please read about the rainforest? A rainforest gets a lot of rain. The trees grow tall and grow back. The sun, many animals such as birds and monkeys use tall trees for shelter. The shorter plants do not need much sunlight. Very nice. Can you say the word block? Block. Good. So the tall trees block the sun. They get all the sunlight. So the shorter plants don't need much sun. Very nice, Tom. And here's a question. Sino, Sino, how does the leopard get what it needs from its environment? To get water, water, food, shelter, and mm -hmm. air. Very good. So the jungle has all of those things that it needs. Great work, Sino. All right, now we've read about the rainforest. I need some help reading about the desert. Funny, could you read the first few sentences about the desert? Just until right here. Uh, environment gets little rain. Plants such as cactus store water in their thick stems. Very nice. Can everybody say cactuses? <laughs> Good. Everybody together say cactuses. Cactuses. Good. That's when there's more than one cactus. All right. Nice reading, Bunny. Thank you very much. Uh, next, let's have Taylor. Could you read the other half? Which one? Starting with other plants. Other plants store water in their leaves in hot deserts. Many animals hide during the day. Very good. And where can the animals hide, Taylor? In the cave or in the cactus. Very good. Maybe under a cactus or a tree in a cave. Some even dig holes and go under the ground. Very nice reading, Taylor. Thank you. And I have a question here. Why does the desert hare live in the desert? George, what do you think? Why doesn't it live in the tundra or in the rainforest? Why does it live in the desert? Because the tundra and rainforest don't have food for the desert. Why does the desert need 
Very good. That's exactly right. They don't have the food the desert hare needs, but the desert's also just the right temperature. The desert hare likes where it's hot and dry. It doesn't want something really wet or really cold. Nice work. Okay. Here's our tundra. Dragon, could you read about the tundra for us? No, I don't know. Oh, you don't know which word? Do you want it here? Repeat after me, okay? A tundra is a very cold environment. Very nice. Plants grow close together near the ground. Plants grow near close together, together near the ground. Near the ground. Very good. And the last one, ready? Animals have thick fur to stay warm. Very good. Thank you, Dragon. Okay. So, what living and non-living things does the Arctic fox use? Banana. What living and non-living things does the Arctic fox use? Shelter and water and food and air. Mm-hmm. Which one of those is living? Shelter. The shelter is alive? No. No? What's living that it uses? Food. Food, right? It eats other animals. Good job, banana. So the living things in its environment are its food, like the animals. Maybe it's shelter, but the plants and trees are a little small for shelter in the tundra. Look how small the Arctic flowers are. It probably uses the snow or a cave, which are non-living. All right. And the prairie. Um, Tiger, can you read about the prairie for us? A prairie environment is most dry. It has just a few key of trees and sun. Large animals, the tall grass. Smaller animals live in grass. So this word is kinds, and this one here is grasses. E-S, grasses. Okay, here we have a prairie dog and a bison. Why does the bison not live in the rainforest? Pasta, why can't the bison survive in the rainforest? Because it's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot, it's too wet. Very good, Pasta. They need all the wide open grass to eat, to run around in. The bison eat the grass. If they went to the rainforest, they wouldn't have any food. All right, you guys remember this game. This is review. All right, so match the word to lake or ocean. Does this box go to lake or ocean? Remember, draw a single line, no scribbling and no drawing shapes, okay? It's not nice to your classmates. All right, everyone go ahead and draw. Go ahead and draw. A nice single line. Good, Dragon, Sino, Taylor, very nice. Pasta, good. See, it looks like this is going here and here. This you guys have going here and here. 
So the lake is fresh water, smaller and shallow. Blue moon, can you read the two boxes that go with ocean? Lake and deep. Uh-huh, and the other one for ocean? Salt water. Nice, can you say salt? Salt water. Very good. So the lake, small and shallow, the ocean, big and deep. Very nice work, everybody. Oceans are the largest habitats on Earth. The ocean covers most of Earth. Very large, but which habitat has the most amount of species? The most different kinds of animals. Raise your hand if you know. Raise your hand in your video if you know which environment has the most kinds of species. Tom? Mm, the rainforest. Excellent job, Tom. Exactly, the rainforest. Nice work. All right. What adaptations do fish have to live in the water? Let's see, Cherry. Cherry, could you please read these adaptations that fish have? What adapt do fish have to live in the water? Good, and go ahead and read them. Yes, fins. Mouth to, mouth to eat plants. And teeth? Teeth to eat animals. Very nice, Cherry, thank you. All right, what adaptation does a frog have to live in the rainforest? How about Zook? Zook, what's the answer here? Uh, sticky feet. Sticky feet? Oh, nice work, Zook. Excellent. All right. What adaptation does a cactus have to live in the desert? Hi, Nam. So does the cactus have leaves, long roots, cups to catch water, or cool sunglasses? What helps it live in the hot, dry desert? Leaf. Leaves? Not quite. Do you have another guess? But if the cactus had leaves, it might lose too much water from them. What helps it get water? Cup to let water. Do you see cups on the cactus? If it doesn't, no. if it doesn't rain a lot, right? There's not a lot of rain, so cups to catch water would be more useful in the rainforest, maybe. What about in the desert where there's not a lot of rain? How? Can no. it... Yeah. Right. Excellent job. Thank you, Hainam. So in the desert where there's not a lot of rain, they have to get water a different way. They use long roots. All right, what adaptation or adaptations does a giraffe have to live in the grasslands? Milk, what, what helps the giraffe live in the grasslands? What adaptations does a giraffe have to live in the grasslands? Long legs, brown and tan fur, long neck and tongue, or all of the above. What helps it live in the grasslands? One, two, three, or all of the above? That's okay, Milk. I'll come back to you on another one, okay? So be ready to answer another one. Puppy, what do you think? Mm, all of the above. Good job, all of the above. All of these help it live in the grasslands. Good work, puppy. What adaptation does a camel have to live in the desert? What about the camel? Ray? Long eyelashes, humps, oh. big feet, or all of the above? Humps. Say it again. Oh, all of these. All of the above, right? 
The long eyelashes help keep sand out of its eyes. The big feet help it walk on the sand. What adaptation does a frog have to live in the pond? Milk, give this one a try, Milk. What adaptation does the frog have to live in the pond? Red skin. Mm, frogs are reptile or amphibians, remember? Amphibians have wet yes. skin. Amphibians have wet skin because they live in the water. What might help them swim, Milk? Which one do you think would help them swim? It's okay if it's not right, just take a guess. Fur, a big fur, a big nose, or webbed feet. Moon, could you help Moon? What do you think, Moon? Webbed feet. Webbed feet. Good pronunciation also, Moon. Nice work. What adaptation helps a woodpecker find food in the forest? Uh, how about Rosie? Rosie, what adaptation helps a woodpecker find food in the trees? Sharp beak. Very good, sharp beak. Nice work, Rosie. And what is a terrarium? Sam, what is a terrarium? Play for me, thing. Okay, go ahead. I'll read them out loud. Is it a place where animals live? B. B. Good. A small model of an environment. All the living and non-living things is an environment. The terrarium is a small model of an environment. Excellent job, Sam. All right, everyone. Circle all of the terrariums. Go ahead and circle. All right. So, you guys almost got it perfect. Mostly you did. You had the aquarium. This is a desert terrarium with a snake, a rainforest terrarium. These three here, these aren't terrariums. These are the whole environment. Very good. So it's these three. One, two, three. Nice work, everybody. All right, so that's all for today. So your homework today, Susu, can you read what your homework is? Um, quizzes. Quizzes. And can you read what it says underneath? Who can do the best? Nice work. Thank you, Susu. So that's your homework for today. You heard it from Susu. You'll get the link in the email, okay? All right, everybody, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.